Hello everybody, how are you? It is... What was my intro again? Hello everybody! How could I forget my own intro? Hey guys, how are you? It's Lindy and welcome to a new video! So today I am actually going to do a makeup tutorial. What? I feel like I haven't done a makeup tutorial in literally so long. So I actually, I asked you all on Instagram if you even wanted to see one. But turns out, literally almost everyone wants to see a makeup tutorial by me. Which is strange because there are so many people on the internet who are way better in makeup than I am. But today I am going to do it for you. And also because... <laughs> Look what I got. <gasps> I got the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay makeup palette. Oh my god, I am so excited for this. Um, I actually got this sent in PR, which was wild to me because I almost never get PR and I did not know that they know that I exist. So that was a fun surprise for me. <laughs> so today I am going to play with this little beautiful palette right here. Oh no! <gasps> no, look what I did! Oh my god, look at that! <laughs> I put my thumb in there! Oh, why am I like this? I hate myself. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, today I'm going to play with this palette. So, let's see what's gonna happen because I sure have no idea what I'm going to do. I also asked you on Instagram what colors you wanted me to use and um, the answers were all very different but the main color everybody wanted to see is ew which is this green color and <laughs> I am scared but I am going to try and use it and see if I can make it work. Also, can I just say how cool I think it is that there are Dutch words in this palette, like Vla and Zomer. Because, a big shocker, I am Dutch too. Which is something that nobody can tell because I do not talk with an accent at all. <laughs> so I want to go for a look that is kind of colorful but also lightweight because I'm really into those kind of looks lately. So I'm first going to dip my brush in the color Amsterdam, which is not the only city that we have in the Netherlands, even though almost the entire world seemed to think so. <laughs> and I am going to do a little like graphic liner type of situation. And I'm going to place it pretty high because I want to blend a color underneath it. And since I don't have a lot of lid space, I need to place it very high. Because otherwise you won't see the other color. <laughs> I just remembered that I forgot to use an eyeshadow primer. <laughs> oh, okay. Let me let me take this off. Okay, be right back. Okay, so let's start over. First up, I'm going to prime my eyes using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Oh, can you tell that I haven't worn eyeshadow in a while? <laughs> This is such a pretty color. Oh my god, I love these type of blues. Full disclosure, <laughs> I have used this palette before, so this isn't really going to be a first impression. But every time I get new makeup, I just turn into a little child and like put my fingers in the palette and put it all over my face. Like, I don't know what it is, but I just immediately need to put it on my face. So I have used some of the eyeshadows and I actually really like it. Especially the shimmer shades. Oh my god, those are intense in a good way. Okay, so let's see if I can match the other eye, which is always a struggle. Okay, so I got this little moment on my eyes right now and it, it is not perfect. But you know what? Life is not perfect, so I'm just gonna accept it the way that it is, okay? <laughs> now I am going into the scary color right here named ew like i said so many of you said that i had to use the color ew and it was actually really funny because <laughs> i i forgot that there was a color named ew in this palette so when everybody was telling me ew 
I got I got kind of sad because I thought they were talking to me instead of talking about the color. <laughs> But no, luckily it was the color. At least I hope. I'm not even sure. So yeah, I'm going to use a, a little brush. And then the color EU, like I said. A very professional, I know. Yeah, la, 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 la. Then I'm going to blend this underneath the blue eyeshadow. Oh, this is actually such a pretty color combo. Whoa, that's cool. This also is a very pigmented, but I gotta say the blue one is definitely more pigmented. But maybe that's just because it's a darker color. So it appears to be more pigmented, but it's just darker. I don't know. I mean, I don't have a lot of knowledge about makeup, to be honest. I just put it on my eyes and that's it. <laughs> Hmm, okay, so I have no idea what I'm going to do now. Um, I feel like I should really use the color Vla because that's probably gonna look very good. This yellow one with this color combination. Um, but I'm just kind of trying to figure out where I'm going to place it. I'm just gonna put it in any corner. Okay. such a beauty influencer oh my god you know what i just realized look what they have on the palette look you have this and i have this <laughs> oh my god my tattoo is on the palette yeah that's cool anyways um let's see what i know what to do next I swear to god, like doing makeup always takes me so long to do. Not because applying the makeup takes a long time, but I just never can figure out what I want to do. Like, that's also the reason why I don't really post that much makeup tutorials anymore. Because it literally takes me hours just to come up with an idea to put on my face. So, I got this right now. The more I look at it, the less I start to like it. But... <laughs> Gotta continue. Okay, so I'm going to use the color Redemption underneath my lash line. So now let's get into the color Ivy. And let's put Ivy on my inner corner with a little brush. I don't know why I talk like that. I'm, I'm, I honestly don't know. Oh wait, I totally forgot that it actually came with like a little instruction which i am only now looking at even though i've already done most of my eyes but this basically tells you um how to use all the colors if you have to use it with a brush or with your finger and i'm pretty sure it's just everything with glitter in it you can use with your finger i mean you can also use it with the brush but i'm just gonna use it with my finger and i also want to use this blue one so I'm just going to put the blue one on the inner corner as well. But on the blue part of the inner corner. You know what? I'm just gonna use it over the entire line. Okay? I'm just... I'm feeling extra today. And I'm also going to use the Aura shade underneath my lash line as well. Okay, I actually think that eyeshadow is done right now. I mean, like I said, I want it to be colorful, but still breathable, you know? Still a little bit open space moment. I don't know if I like this look, okay? I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea. There's just so much color on my face, it just is confusing me. So I'm just going to apply some mascara and some false lashes to add some black to this look. And maybe it will make me feel a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> And just so you know, the lash lift that I did last week, it's still working. I mean, it, it definitely has gone down a little bit. But my lashes look way better. Like, they actually look way better. So I love it. And I'm definitely gonna keep doing it. So I'm going to use these tiny lashes from um, Huda Beauty. I have no idea what they're called. I'm sorry. Um, I've had these for a while now. And they've been through a lot. 
The other day I found one of them on Pablo's bed. So it was covered in fur and it was not looking pretty. And then I cleaned it up and not even an hour later, Pokey found them and tried to eat one of them. So yeah, there's also like dog saliva on here. <laughs> But I just love these so much and I don't want to throw them away. So I'm just going to glue them on my eyeballs anyways. Which may be extremely gross, but I'm not very hygienic. I don't know if you've ever noticed that. <laughs> Get some lash glue that is literally like empty and almost completely dried up. So I'm not sure if this is even going to stick to my eyes. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so my lashes are glued to my eyeballs and I already feel a lot more like myself. <laughs> I mean, just a little bit of black, it does wonders to me. So, now I am going to uh, use some blush. And since you all wanted me to use as many colors as possible, I think I'm just going to try and take this color, which is called uh, Zomer, and use that as a blush. I mean, I think that would look pretty cute, right? Yeah, I think that would be nice. I think, I think that would be a very good look on my cheeks. Oh, that's actually such a pretty color. I love it. I love it. A little bit on the nose. Oh, that, that is more than a little bit. Help. So let's take my favorite highlighter and that is the ColourPop. Um, the, light, the label is rubbed off. But I, I think this is the Light Sticks in the color Star Bright. Which I, I really love this one. I think this is so pretty. I think this is gorgeous. I feel like this just really gives like a natural sheen. It is very intense though. But it's not like, I don't know. I just like... This highlighter, it's so natural, yet also intense. Maybe I used a little bit too much, okay. So it is time to pick out a lip color. And I honestly have no idea what I want to put on my lips. I kind of like this color that I already have right now. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna use this uh, Revolution Pro lip liner in the color... I, I don't know, but yeah, um, this lip liner. Oh no, it just broke. Okay, we're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. I also just put a little bit of the uh, Brooklyn Thorn lip liner on my lips. And then for gloss, I'm going to use the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Well Nested. Mm. Do I like this? I don't know if I like this. <laughs> Let's put a little bit of the um, Monangerie Menangerie on top of it. Oh my god, I think we're done. Right? I mean, I don't know what else I can do other than completely ruin everything I have on my face right now. So it's better that I just stop. Let me do some close up so you can see how messy it actually is. <laughs> It's more of like me playing with the palette, but um, I am going to give a tiny review anyways, even though I don't know if anybody's interested in my opinion on this palette. But yeah, I really like it. I think it's a very cute palette. Uh, I love the way how it opens. It's just, I don't know. I think that's kind of cute. Also, definitely love the double mirrors in there. Such a great idea. Like, I, I am amazed by it. I mean, the colors are super pigmented. The shimmer shades are absolutely gorgeous. Like, I love them so much. Especially the bright one. Okay, like, just look at it. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Just look at that 
sheen and if you blend it out it also looks so nice and pretty and i love it the only thing that i don't really like about this palette is just the way that the colors are like laid out i generally need my palettes to kind of like tell a color story if you know what i mean because these are all like very like randomly placed it feels like whenever i look at this i don't immediately come up with a look because i am not <laughs> creative enough for that so yeah that's definitely something that like I have problems with <laughs> with this palette and I've seen that a lot of people have the same problem as well so I do have a little tip which I didn't use today because I just felt like doing whatever but if you ever have like a palette that feels very intense like this one you can just kind of like only look at a few for example if you have like this entire palette right but if you would just like place your hands over <laughs> like this and this and then you can like come up with a look with those colors, you know? You see, like when you only see... <laughs> Wait, it's so hard to show. What the hell am I doing? If I just look at it like this, only those four shades, I can immediately come up with a look. You know what I mean? So, you know, if you have this palette and you find it difficult to come up with a look, just kind of, you know, pick a few out and like look around it. You know, like here. This moment, wait. This could also be a beautiful moment. <laughs> that was very difficult to show you. My hands are like covered in makeup right now. But I hope that it's a useful tip that you can use. But yeah, overall, I absolutely love this palette. I 10 out of 10 recommend. But I also have to say that I am incredibly biased. Because I just love Nikki tutorials. <laughs> I've been watching her since the very beginning. Where she had like a very crappy camera. And she was sitting like in a very dark room doing Lady Gaga makeup tutorials like I've been watching her since the beginning so I am very biased because I love her and I like almost everything she does so yeah congratulations Nikki tutorials I mean you're not going to see this video but I just want to say that I'm proud of you so yeah you have now reached the end of the video um, I really appreciate you sticking around for so long and I really hope you liked this video if you want to see more makeup videos of me then let me know in the comments down below <laughs> oh maybe you want to see more and maybe you thought that this was a shit show and you never want to see it again that's completely fine as well you know just let me know and i'll figure something out <laughs> and again thank you all so much for watching this video and i hope to see you in my next uh, video how bye 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 ciao ciao au revoir bye bye